Hi, I'm Cynthia Primus, President and CEO of IDEA Center for the Arts in Camden, New Jersey. At IDEA, we work to build engaged, vibrant communities through creativity, culture, and arts-based learning. I'd like to take a few minutes to share with you a new project that we will be working on in partnership with South Jersey communities and Rutgers Camden faculty and students. Johnson Park, a gallery of history reimagined, will be a series of media installations, art projects, and performances in an historic Camden Park. This project is part of our Camden Community Voices Initiative that will offer new ways of seeing and engaging with local histories, current social movements, and possible futures. I love the idea of working with youth media makers to transform this space, but also how we think about public space in general. Too often we think about youth culture and young makers as belonging to that category of things that we don't have to take seriously. Black and brown youth in particular, we underestimate their brilliance and stigmatize their acts as destructive. But this is their future. And what we have seen in recent years is young people forcing the world at large to take them seriously, to listen to their voices and their visions of what the world could and should be. What inspired me to participate in this project was an image circulating on the internet. It was the image of the Robert E. Lee statue in Richmond, Virginia. Protesters had started using it as a screen of sorts for a series of projected images and texts. Harriet Tubman's image and a quote reading, slavery is the next thing to hell, were projected onto the statue's pedestal, under which were still visible posters and graffiti from the recent protests. BLM, or Black Lives Matter, was projected across Lee's horse. Now, this is a really powerful moment. It rejects the way powerful racist histories literally tower over these communities. But it was also an amazing transformation of what a public monument can be. These are usually top-down artifacts that encourage look but don't touch, read but don't write attitudes toward powerful figures and powerful narratives. But the protesters use their posters, graffiti, and projection to turn it into a space for active engagement. Engagement with many voices and many visions of the past and the present. When the members of the community complained about representation of indigenous figures in the freeze at Johnson Park, I thought of the Richmond Monument, and I was immediately excited about the opportunity not only to address the violence of such representations, but also the possibility of rethinking public art and memorial culture as a whole. What if we begin to think of these spaces as opportunities to write, produce, listen, and respond? I'm Jillian Sayre, Assistant Professor of English at Rutgers Camden and co-founder of Proof, a small press project located in Johnson Park. And I'm excited to help the youth media makers at IDEA engage with the freeze and rethink public space and memorials. When the Digital Studies Center moved into the Johnson Library building in 2018, the space had been various things throughout the years, and at the time, it was functioning largely as a temporary office space and an underused classroom. One of the first things we learned was that the building and the park exist in this sometimes strained relationship between the university and the community. Local residents complained that Rutgers was taking over a public space that had a long history of its own, and we've been trying to find better ways to be better neighbors and members of the community. The Digital Study Center, DISC for short, is a space to study both new technologies and new ways of being together, like social media and online gaming, and old technology, the systems that we sometimes forget are part of our digital histories. This focus on both the past and the present means that we always look for ways to be accountable to our local histories and to our responsibilities as members of this community here in Camden. We're excited to join IDEA in exploring how digital media might be used to explore the complex histories of Johnson Park. 
At IDEA, we work to train and promote the work of youth media makers, providing a space and mentors that can help young people share their vision with the world. We want their voices to be heard, and we are so excited to be working with the Camden community, including Rutgers faculty and students, to create a series of media installations in and about Johnson Park. This project, Johnson Park, a gallery of history reimagined, will aim to re-envision what it means to interact with public spaces and public art, highlighting many voices, including those who have so far been silenced by misrepresentation and erasure. With the help of a grant from the Independence Public Media Foundation, we aim to create a space that values openness, equality, and community. A space to come together and to be good neighbors, to share our ideas, and to make a future that embraces all of our potential.